So let me show you now these three ways that you can train your adductors in order to become strong enough to be doing this step. Let's go. Number one. <laughs> okay, this feels weird. But this is actually what I did, people. <clears throat> you get some nice thick socks, you know, your most worthless one because you're going to be putting baby powder on a floor surface that is like my dance school or your house somewhere where there is no carpet obviously and there is marble or tiles. Make sure you put enough to make all of it white and the socks make sure you don't need them. Also, don't wear shoes for too long because you don't want your feet to be sweaty. So, brand new socks and let them, your feet dry out first. You can put some powder on them. Now we get into the powder and we mix our feet together in the powder and we open up just enough to the shoulders width and then we try to squeeze the abductors in, the muscles and close. I promise you it will happen. Just don't be sweaty and no this is not an advertisement for Johnson's baby powder. I just really like putting it for practice or when you mop the floor and it's too sticky. So open up again and slowly pull in. Now widen your area of powder once you get stronger. That could take a day, that could take a week, you never know. It depends, let's say ballerinas are very strong adductors, so you're going to move more out with the socks because of friction, they really help and try to uh, learn it like that. Okay, so that's step one. Let's go for step two. Now step one was the most difficult one, but also easy, meaning difficult to make those muscles stronger and I hope it didn't take you more than a week if you do just five minutes, but now I've put sneakers. You're like, wait a second, dance shoes, you know, maybe it's easier. Yes, it is easier, but the purpose is not to do it easy, it's to do it smooth. And in order to do it smooth, you need a lot of power in that muscle. So put your powder again, put sneakers on, which have a little bit of more friction than the sock. And it's like you put weight onto your barbell and then right there where you have the powder or put again and try again from this level to close in the feet and you will notice that it's oh i can do it with these ones a little bit more difficult open up a little bit more and you get it try to pull in the adductors and open up more and try to pull them in 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 and they get stronger step three I just put my dance shoes on and because I practice with the sneakers before I put the dance shoes on, I'm stronger and because it's much easier with the skin to do the slide, even at carpet surfaces if you're strong enough, you can slide. So that's why the second one wasn't with the dance shoe. We do it with the sneakers so they have more resistance. And if you can do it without the powder eventually and with your dance shoes, then you have the drag. I hope that helps and to my friend who asked for it, thank you very much for the question. Keep on putting them in the comments. Give me ideas to teach. Give me ideas to give knowledge out. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.